Good day folks. This is just a quick test of the uh, 1.5 horsepower 3 phase 415 volt ASEA motor that I have. I got this one from V8 Jagnut with the intention of using it on a rotary phase converter. I haven't yet completed that project so I'll just try running it off a start capacitor or run capacitor see how much noise it makes. The uh, really old Australian built motor I made has a really nice hum to it which the camera sort of exaggerates, it makes it sound a lot coarser and harsher than it really is but this is the uh, SE electric Australian built motor bit of rattles and vibrations from the mounting brackets but that's about it gentle hum big pulley, it acts like a flywheel and that's a uh, 45 microfarad 380 volt run capacitor from a Westinghouse air conditioner and I simply have my live wire going to L1, neutral to L2, and the run capacitor between L2 and L3. Very straightforward. And that's running clockwise shaft end. You can actually reverse that wiring so that the active is on the where the blue wire is from the run capacitor and vice versa for the run capacitor and run it counterclockwise shaft end. So you can reverse these using capacitor start, or capacitor run, sorry, and you can also capacitor start them as well using a momentary contactor or switch. And this is also the pole change induction motor made by Tico Electric Taiwan 1992. It is 1.5 kilowatts in 4 pole mode and 0.45 kilowatts in 6 pole mode. Uh, this uh, came out of a very large evaporative air conditioner commercial unit. Obviously it's two speed because it can change poles and according to the cover it has a uh, wiring for low speed and high speed. It only wires in star configuration as well, not delta. And that's the configuration chart there for low speed and high speed. Star only. And there is a good diagram of the equations for delta star configuration. What we're going to be working in today is star. They all intersect into one rather than delta which forms the triangle configuration. Positive, negative, positive, negative and positive and negative. I believe that's L1, 2 and 3. Still not 100% sure with the three phase stuff myself but it's pretty straightforward to understand once you've uh, got something on paper. And the alternative to changing speeds through poles is changing pole configuration from delta to star, which I believe is what these contactors do from the big champion air compressor that I scrapped a while back. You can see there's been three phase wires coming off here to the main motor, which is a 250 horsepower motor, and three phase wires coming off here. And I'm guessing under normal running conditions, high speed it will run off these three alone and then when it comes to low speed like power saving idle it would swap to this contactor here and this one would also close bridging three of the uh, motors poles together to create a delta configuration so it goes from star to delta and runs at a lower speed it's rather an interesting little system both of these contactors must close at once or I suppose maybe this one closes first 
haven't quite worked it out yet but that's probably for high power compression cycle and it'll change mode to run in unloaded mode an unloader valve will open on the compressor pump and just let the motor idle at low power rather than actually stopping it and then starting the motor again when air is required to, or air pressure drops it's very inefficient to stop and start such a big motor and it'll also burn the motor out in the long term you can only do so many starts per day of a motor which is rated at 250 horsepower Alright, this is Tico motor in high speed configuration using the same run capacitor and single phase connection Vibration That other motor is vibrating. And this is Tico motor, low speed. Doesn't sound as happy. I need a stronger capacitor. Yeah. Definitely works on both speeds. Yeah, it doesn't sound happy doing that. Try my. Okay, well low speed seems to work a lot better running off the uh, 10 microfarad capacitor from, uh, I think it was from the big York heat pump. Came off the fan motor. Let's try this one. That sounds much healthier. I'm guessing with the correct capacitor the high speed would run a lot smoother. Definitely has great bearings in it. Silky smooth. <laughs> 